Hey everybody, Bob McCarthy here, and welcome to the 2017 Rhode Island Comic Con. Get ready to join the dark side with these great characters and more. Let's check it out. All right, folks, as you know, I love the dark side. It, you know, it's one of the greatest things on earth. I'm here with two beautiful women. Uh, how are you ladies doing here today? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. But I want to know how you're doing. You said good. good. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm glad to be here. So. Uh, who are you looking forward to seeing here today? Um, I'm more of a costumer myself, so all the amazing costumes I've been seeing around is what I'm looking forward to. So. No one's saying John Cusack. Val Kilmer. Ah, uh, we were here to see Freddie Prince Jr., but he canceled, so. Uh, it's hey, better than a Power Ranger, right? Yeah. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Hey, I'm a Trish Frat, uh, Stratus fan myself, so uh, how do you like being on the dark side? I don't. Oh, you're not on the dark side. <laughs> no. Well, these ain't the droids you're looking for, right? No, they're uh, not. <laughs> not that one. Not that one. <laughs> All right, let's check out more here at Comic-Con. All right, folks, I'm here with my day tonight, the beautiful, the sensational, the iconic, one and only Meg Foster right here at the 2017 Rhode Island Comic Con. Honey, how's it doing here today? I'm just fine. I'm next to you. Wow, you're so beautiful. I'm so glad I met you. It's Finally. Nice. It's nice to meet you, too. Years and years of looking at your photos and watching your movies and television shows. You've done so many television shows, so many movies. Cagney and Lacey, Six Million Dollar Man. Uh, one of my favorite movies I want to talk about with Rowdy Roddy Piper. I'm a big wrestling fan. They Live, an incredible sci-fi movie by John Carpenter. Um, it came out greater and more iconic than everybody can ever think. And it's a great message, too, about the aliens really being here on Earth. And people really believe that. Do you believe in that? Yes. I Obey, have, command, consume, yes, the yes, whole deal? from the time I was a child, before I knew that, they, that they, people were worried about them, I mm -hmm. knew. Yes. <laughs> and then Masters of the Universe, what a great movie that was with Dolph Lundgren. And I, I love how they did that and came down to earth and everything like that. How was the production with those gentlemen It was and, wonderful. And it was wonderful. Yeah. And yeah. then what about all that? You've done a lot of iconic television shows. Have I? Yes, you have. I have. And this was a great television era as well. Yes. You know, the time I entered, you mean? Yes. 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 It was a all great those great television shows you got to do with the <laughs> guest stars, and I mean, is there? Ooh, you can touch, you can touch me any way you want. I'm single now, so. So. So keep. This is great. I feel great. So. Yeah. Is there anybody here you're looking forward to seeing? Besides I, me. <laughs> I look forward to being in conventions because they are happy places. With happy people. With happy people that are expressing themselves. Mm -hmm. And I love meeting the people that are here because it is fun. Well, we love having you. Well, thank you. I want to thank you so much for your time. And I loved working with Roddy Piper. Yeah? Yes. Well, I love working with you. Oh, well, thank you. So I hope you have a great time. Meet a lot of your fans that are waiting here to see you. Thank you. And we hope you come back to Rhode Island again. Thank you very much. And I'll give you my phone number, and hopefully you can come down to Massachusetts. Where in Mass? Uh, Lowell. Lowell. 30 minutes from Boston. I went to school in Lowell, Massachusetts. You did? <laughs> no way. you got to tell us this. Please. you got to be kidding me. No. Mom is the word. Mom. Okay. All right. It's for the autobiography, right? we got to wait? No, I'm not going to autobiography anything. Why no. not? No, you I have I a went great, incredible school. career. I'm, you work with so many legends, and you're a legend yourself. Look at the great era that you were in. They're still in. Well, I. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I need to write a book. Okay. Does Not it? to be trash. I'm just talking <laughs> about. It can be good. <laughs> no. Well, no. Yeah, I went to school. Wow. Lowell High School? Mm -mm. No, in the early Catholic si school? Early 60s. Yeah, with the nuns? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Okay. I wouldn't let All a, girls? I would not let a nun hit me. <laughs> well, you hear the I stories. I would not let a man hit me. Oh, no. No man should ever hit you. <laughs> Nothing but love and kissing and you're well, a beautiful woman. You should well, be treated with respect much. and manners at all times. We work on it. But, no, I went to school in Lowell, Mass. Wow, that's incredible. That's a good information. <laughs> Is there anything about Lowell that you, like, remember or been to? How many years were you in Lowell for? How many years was I in Lowell for? Oh, this is when you were. This is when you are in youth. High school, Youth, like yes. wow. Yes. So I didn't know you're from Massachusetts. I thought uh, I'm not Connecticut. I'm, Connecticut. I'm yeah, Connecticut. That's what I thought. I took the train, Providence. Providence. Wow. You don't know that. You're no, too young. No. They used to. Yeah. They used to say. Providence. Well, I'm 40. I'm not that young. Yeah, you are. Well, thank you. They call me sir at the drive-through. I feel old all the time when they say that. You should. Like, thank you, sir. 
They're being polite. Okay. I won't take it they the wrong way. They can't say Harvey. They can't say Bob. Uh, they can't uh, say uh, yeah, hey, yeah. You. hey, you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So four years in Lowell. Yeah. Wow. Do you remember anything about Lowell? The Merrimack was very, very polluted. The Merrimack, there you go. Yes, the Merrimack the River. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's great. You mm -hmm. go downtown. John Kennedy. Yeah. Was shot while I was there. Mm -hmm. Wow. I couldn't, they wouldn't let me go to church. I wanted to go down to a church down the street. Oh, I why wouldn't they know. let you? Because we were in a school. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, well, thank you, you, thank you, thank so you for that information. Where you live, Lowell, yes, so yes. Cool. Well, there you go, sir. Well, thank you for that information. <laughs> we got a little information from Meg Foster. That's fantastic. I'm so hypnotized by your eyes right now. You're the most beautiful eyes. Has anybody ever told you that? No. Probably for the ninth million time, huh? No. Those eyes are so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're hypnotizing me right now, folks. We're gonna have to shut the camera off in a couple of minutes because Meg Foster's hottest thing on the planet right now. We are so lucky to have her here at Rhode Island Comic Con. Meg, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right, folks, let's check out more here at Rhode Island Comic Con. All right, folks, we're here at the 2017 Rhode Island Comic Con. I'm joined right now, an iconic actor. Everybody knows Robert Carradine. Robert, how you like doing here today, brother? I'm having a really good time, man. Uh, folks out here in Rhode Island are excellent. Now you got the Revenge of the Nerds reunion here today. All your friends have come together for this great event. How do you feel about having all the nerds here? Well, you know, they're hard to corral. And I'm trying to keep him in line, but you know, Ogre's here, and what are you gonna do with Ogre? There's not much you can do with him. No, he's he's earned his place on the earth. Now, um, let me ask you something. This is one of the, the, the franchises you think that would be a remake. You think Hollywood have to remake everything? Did you hear any rumblings about them trying to uh, do you guys in? We're not doing a remake. We're doing the continuation. Oh, really? So that's coming up soon? Oh yeah. I mean, they they did Blade Runner. Why not do Revenge of the Nerds? Absolutely. Is there anybody here you're interested in seeing some of your fellow actors and superstars here? No. Nah. Okay. Well, you got to see Bob, right? Good to see me. Yeah. And good to be on the Bob Show. All right. And having a great time, right? Yeah. And my name's Bob. So. And your name is Bob, so yeah, it's Bob, two Bob. Bob, Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, it thanks, is an man. honor and a pleasure. Robert Carradine. Okay, folks, it's one of my complete honors to be right here with one of the most iconic actors in television and movie history, the one and only Robert Hayes. Robert, how's it like being here today at Rhode Island Comic Con? It's great. This is my first time to be here, and I'm absolutely loving it. The people are terrific. Uh, people putting it on are doing a great job. The people seem to be enjoying themselves, and I see a bunch of old friends here and some new ones, and uh, I'm having a great time. Is there anybody here specifically you're like, uh, going to meet today, any of your friends? Or well, I've seen a bunch of them. John O'Hurley was here earlier. Bobby Carradine's an old buddy. And, and uh, Ted McGinley's down there. Uh, uh, Barbara Hershey's right over there. I mean, it's just really, really great. Great now, fun. I produce a sketch comedy show. We do sketch comedy celebrity interviews on the show. And my greatest inspiration is Zucker, Abrams, and Zucker. Mm -hmm. I love the comedy they write because it's just my favorite comedy. It's just, it is so incredible. And, and your movies and Airplane, Airplane 2, uh, what was that experience like working with those great actors, Leslie Nielsen and, and the great cast there? Well, that was my first feature film. And it was like hitting pay dirt. It was like winning the big lottery. And it was just, it was wonderful. The people were fantastic. They were great. Jerry and David Zucker and Jim Abrams are brilliant. And it was their brilliance that made that film what it's turned out to be. And all of us just did our best to interpret what they did and bring it to life on the screen for them. And then they continued by editing and, you know, getting the timing down to where they wanted it. And they just did an incredible job. So they're the geniuses. and. And I'm just so glad that I got to be part of it. I heard the movie industry didn't get it at first. They didn't get the comedy, right? That, that They were like, what, what are you guys doing here? You know what I mean? Because this was, it was part of the uh, airport, what, 1975 was the movie they were kind of parodying? No, it was Zero Hour. Zero Hour, okay. Yeah, from right. 50, 57 or 59. Okay. 57. Yeah. But that was, uh, that was the one that they spoofed. But they also spoofed From Here to Eternity and, you know, I mean, everything. So uh, it, was, it was just, it was great. It what was do great you like fun. better, one or two? Well, one, because that was one. That was the first one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, two, I loved it. There were, there were you know, uh, it was, if you've never seen one and you saw two, then I've had people actually tell me they like two better. But out of the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that I've met, literally, all around the world, 
I would say there are maybe two that have said that, literally. And you did a commercial, right, with the, uh, Cream, or you did a commercial for an airline unit where you were parroting the airplane characters? For Wisconsin tourism, yeah. because the boys are all from Wisconsin, from right. Milwaukee. Yeah. So we did a thing, uh, David Zucker was asked to do a thing, he did a thing for him. It went over so well, they asked me to, he asked me to do one, so we did one together, and it was really funny. And then they got Kareem and me, and they got uh, Jerry and David and Jim all to do it. So all together we did it. And it was just really lots of fun. And it did, it, I guess it did some good stuff for Wisconsin. People there were great, so uh, I got to know people in Wisconsin a lot more, a lot better, and I just thought they were wonderful, really wonderful. So had a good time. I've had a lot of fun. I've been really blessed. I've had a heck of a lot of fun in my career. And uh, I know there are a lot of people that can't say that, but I sure have. So That's really awesome. Was there ever a take, uh, were there ever rumors of Airplane 3 or a remake? Sure. Because Hollywood's been remaking everything, but this is such a classic. Well, and also it had a cult following right after. I mean, people watching, like, whoa, Airplane, Airplane 2. Well, know? it wasn't just a cult following. It broke every box office record all across the country. Wow. It became the, wow. the highest money-making comedy of all time. Wow. So, it was more than just a cult following. Right, right. That's what we thought at first. It might, well, maybe it could later be. Later years, right? Yeah. Maybe it could be a cult following, but it still it became bigger than it, you it, thought. It's, it's yeah. still huge. Right. Well, and I just got back from uh, Fiji and uh, New Zealand, and they know it there. Right. So it's it still goes on. Ted Stryker. Thirty-seven Stryker, years Stryker, later, Stryker, it's still right? going. Surely you can't be serious, right? <laughs> well, that was my line. Yeah, well, and Leslie says. Leslie, and how was it working with Leslie? I got to meet him before he passed away, which was such an honor. He was I'm so, so glad I got to meet him. You know, he I'm was a big so fan funny. Of squad and Naked Gun, and he was he was just uh, nuts. He was very funny. That's really very awesome. funny, cracking people up all the time on the set. Yeah. So it was good. You guys did like a talk show, I think a morning talk show, when you had like the fart machine on there or something like that. Well, Those the little guys, to Kareem and uh, Peter Graves and Leslie yeah. and Jill Whalen, I think the four of them were in New York. It was the Today Show. Yes, yeah. And I was doing the remote from L.A. Right, via satellite, yeah. And uh, so I was just sitting there watching the monitor, watching yeah. all of it, and it was just fun for me. <laughs> I, I, didn't back, to, right? I didn't have to sit up on stage and, you know, I could actually see them all. So yeah. it, was, it was great. But uh, everyone was terrific. Kareem is very, very quiet and very thoughtful. But uh, what an amazing guy he is. I love how they broke the fourth wall with that, with the kid talking to him and then his line at the end. I mean, that was really awesome. Sure, that really sure. was. Yeah. And then them dragging him down the body, down the uh, Yeah, aisle. exactly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was just... Uh, was there any crazy stunts in the movie that you... I mean, you guys did a lot of uh, stuff there that was kind of dangerous or anything? Or, I mean, geez, you did dancing in the bar. You had so much stuff going on with the airplane. Yeah, and, it wasn't too, you know... Uh, How long did it take to make you the movie, the airplane, the original? That was... I think it was seven weeks. Wow. Very fast. Wow. And it was only... I think it was three and a half million. Wow. So it was low budget. It was very fast. And that's what helped make it the awesome. biggest money-making comedy because it costs so little. Yeah. 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 Just like uh, they said about, uh, I heard the police squad, is that uh, the reason it went off air because people had to watch it to pay attention, the producers said. But that's what airplane is. You have to watch it and pay well, attention. They wound, up, they wound up in doing police squad with the Naked Gun series. Right, right. So that yeah. was And you have to watch it to pay attention to get the jokes, but sure. that's why we watch it. Just sure. like we watch Airplane and Absolutely. the incredible Robert Hayes. Thank you so much Absolutely. for your time. It is such an honor, Robert. Oh, well, I'm a big it. fan of yours. Folks, yeah. right here, the legendary, iconic Robert Hayes, right here at Rhode Island Comic Con. Come on down. All right, folks, I'm joined right here with my dates tonight. We got Rosita from The Walking Dead and She-Hulk. How's it going here today? Great, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, and you? Oh, I'm doing lovely. Not too angry, okay. not yet. No, we don't want to get you too angry. You don't want to get me angry. Uh, who are you interested in seeing here today? Um, I would love to see Bucky Barnes. Okay. And Lou Ferrigno. Okay. Yeah, that we would need be to take a photo together. Obviously, obviously. You? I'd like to see the kids from Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. And Abraham because I'm Rosita and, you know, Michael Cudlitz. Got to see him. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Absolutely. All right, ladies, thank you very much for your time. Thank you as well. All right, let's join more here at Rhode Island Comic Con. Okay, folks, I'm joined here with. Sir King. Wow. Uh, jeez, man. What did you eat today? Three, four people. Okay, I, I don't want to be the next one on your list. Uh, any celebrity you're looking forward to seeing here today? Like a Walking Dead cast. The cast of The Walking Dead, that would make sense. Whoa. 